good afternoon. Today I'm going to be upgrading my mountain bike with, um, I guess it's a clip to hold on my computer. So this is my Garmin 510 computer. Uh, it tells me anything and everything I need to know about my ride, distance, elevation, speed, uh, temperature. It'll actually give me warnings about weather, um, like squalls and things like that. So on this bike, this is my normal road bike, and I've been using on that mostly uh, over the years. So this has a an arm on it that attaches from, uh, from the bottom. You don't have to like take the handlebars off. So this was a one piece at the bottom, second piece is on the top, screws together, one and two, and then you put your computer on sideways. Oops. Put your computer on sideways, turn it, and then it's like nice and centered on your um, handlebars, and that's great. And then when I bought this, it luckily came with, for the meanwhile, anyway, for this is my mountain bike, it's the Trek 3500, and it came with uh, this clip, and it's on elastics. So you just elastic it around, put it on, twist it, perfect. Only problem is when the rubber gets cold when I'm riding in the winter, it just slides around and it's not very um, sturdy. So I bought, instead of buying another one of these, I bought this gizmo. Like I said, it just came in the mail today, uh, Amazon. And you can pretty much put it on any bike, it looks like. Maybe not this bike. Oh no. Well, uh, I should have looked at what kind of handlebar mount this was uh, because obviously it's an up and down uh, style mount and I thought that this bike had the same as this bike where it just has this front end. So this would fit perfectly there. So I might have to take this off. Hopefully that will fit on this bike and then I'll, that will be all good to go because this will be good on this bike. Another thing I liked about this is it has the GoPro mount on the bottom to be able to mount cameras or, or lights. Uh, I've seen other people mount their lighting uh, from that as opposed to having another a light here and a computer here or whatever. So you put this on and then, so let's give it a shot. I'm gonna take this off and uh, see if that will fit. The problem is I think the bars are a bit thicker circumference than this one but we'll see all right let's take it apart first i'm going to take off this computer and then take this strap off it's hard to do one-handed there we go it's nice and simple when i first put it on it was good i guess the elastics slowly over time have uh got stretched and that's why they slip around plus the cold so I'm hoping that thing fits there. If not, uh, I did have older handlebars on here. This is an upgrade. Uh, I did have older ones there that were similar, I guess, in circumference than this one or diameter. And uh, this one, I actually had to put some rubber bands on the inside of this. But uh, let's take this off first and see if it will fit here. So out of all these Allen keys that I have, not one of them fits these. So I have to use, improvise and use this uh, screwdriver, which seems to fit perfectly <laughs> into the Allen key slot. And then that's gonna have to take it off like that. I had to turn my bike upside down because it was a pain to try and get at this when it was upside down. So there we go, it is gonna be off any second now. There we go. It is off. And we will attempt to put that on the other bike. But first, I'm gonna make sure that uh, the other thing's gonna fit on this one. Now hopefully, out of all those Allen wrenches I have, it fits. Here. 
At least this one fits. So those are very nice looking screws, bolts. Let's hope my handlebars don't swivel. See these are like this long. And uh, I don't know. Again, I'm really hoping my handlebars don't slide because they're set. Let's get this. It also has these little things that will help us probably. So it's got a nice long slider so you can fit it to almost any bike, I would imagine. Just do that. Do that. It's probably going to be too long, so they give you these sleeves. Make sure we put it on the right way. The handlebars are sliding. Damn it. So kind of hoping the bottom ones would hold it on. All right, it's on there, but uh, after it was all tight and everything, I realized my uh, handlebars had shifted forward too far for my liking so I had to straight undo this which is a pain because this this thing just isn't long enough you need like long screwdrivers for something like that because you need to go all the way in do it but this bending trying to get it in here with all these wires and stuff is a pain in the butt but it is now done I'll be able to throw my computer on snap that on and everything is awesome that looks great like i said i'll be able to put my gopro there nice all right so next problem is this thing is uh definitely too big for these handlebars as you can see possibly in there so i'm gonna have to wrap this like I did the other handlebars. So I'll probably have to cut these rubber bands, wrap them around, and then put some electrical tape on it just for a temporary fix until uh, I either sell this one, because they're quite expensive because they're like milled aluminum, uh, sell this one and get one that will fit here or get different handlebars for that. All because I want a computer on my bike, geez. Typical me, uh, when I was looking for the electrician's tape, I found this. Uh, it was just in the bottom of a little drawer and it fits these things perfectly and it was a much easier tool to use than this thing. So I'm gonna try and keep all this stuff together as one kit of uh, Allen keys. Finally found the electrical tape. Uh, I'm gonna get elastics, cut them in half, wrap them around uh, and then put some electrical tape on it and then do the next elastic until it gets enough girth that will fill in this gap. I think that should be enough to put that on. Looks like it. Put these on. I'm gonna flip my bike around upside down again, just so I can work from the bottom. Put it almost all the way on, tightened it as tight as it could go, and it still swiveled a little bit. So I had to grab another elastic, put another elastic on there, make it even thicker. Now it should be good. That seems tight enough. I'm gonna stand it up in the right position to make sure it's in the right position because I can't tell when the bike is upside down. Oh, 
I put these towels down because number one, the bike is dirty. Number two, these are my winter spike tires. And I don't want to scratch up the, the floor. All right, so I'm glad I looked before I tightened it anymore because it needs to be swiveled. Definitely, it's in the definite wrong position. So let's see if we can manage this into the right position. I definitely have to loosen it up. I'm gonna put this on and I can really tell, yeah, that's a good spot. That's a good position. Not bad. Well, there you go on, nice and secure. Got the bell going, got my computer. The next thing I'm gonna be adding to this, uh, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna actually have a light on the front of my bike and that'll give me uh, more visibility in the daytime. I don't ride necessarily at nighttime, but uh, in the near future, I'm hoping to do some night rides in, in forests and things. So having a nice bright light will be great for this bike. Uh, I don't usually like to ride this at nighttime, so I will probably uh, change the, the strobe light from here to here when I do daytime riding. From now on, uh, this bike is going to have a strobe on it. And uh, yeah, we're all set up. Got my rope bike going. Got my mountain bike going. Now that I have it in the side, I'm going to give it a little wipe down and uh, clean it up. Well, there you go. All cleaned up as good as I can do right now without a hose and some soap. I just kind of like wiped off most of the chunky dirt and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put this bike back in my room on the wall. This one's going back out to the garage. I'll take my computer off, thank you very much. Put the scissors away for next time. And uh, that's my job for the day, getting that all ready for my next ride. All right, Sunny wanted to say hello. Sunny, this way. Say hello. Say hello, Sunny. She's like, what is that thing? What is it? What is it, Sunny? Meow. You gonna meow for me? There you go. There you go. 